Hello and welcome to another episode of Miss Kay's Book Corner. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. As a follow-up to our book on friendship, we are making friendship bracelet. We will need two different colors of embroidery thread, tape measure to measure the length, scissors to cut, and beads to decorate. Some of the beads have letters so you can personalize your friendship bracelet. And we have some decorative beads. So let's get started. My two colors that I'm using today, black and yellow. You could choose which colors you want. So I will just go ahead and measure for you just to show you how it's done and see how long mine is. So mine is approximately 14 inches. 14 inches, yeah, 14 inches. So you could go ahead and measure yours. Yours depends on the size of your wrist. If you're a small child, you could use 20 inches. Measure up to 20, 20 inches, 19, 20, 20 inches. Yeah, and then cut it. You also would need a little bit of water to dip your fingers in, but we're not ready for that yet. Then you put both ends together like this and make a knot, but you make a knot at the curved end, see, like this. So you fold it in half. So mine was 14 inches. I put both open ends together and made a closed end like that. And then you make a knot. You could make a knot, circle around the finger like that, looks like this, and then go under. It looks like this. And make a knot. If you can't, make a knot you could ask for help so it should look something like this so we have four strings all together and a closed end okay now to make this we are going to need some tape and take these out for a second and I have the tape on the back of my tray. You could stick it onto your table, your work surface, whatever your work surface is, and just tape it down so it stays in place. So it doesn't move around while you're working on it. Yeah, there you go. So we should have two of each colors. So for me, it's two yellows and two blacks. like that two yellows and two blacks you could start from the left or you could start from the right left or right so for instance on the yellow you put it under the black under the black that's how we're starting over the black and under the yellow so it will look something like this. We are making a simple friendship bracelet. Like that. So under the black, over the black, and under the yellow. Let's turn it around so you can see it. Under the black, over the black and under the yellow and pull pull tightly like that and now it's time to do the black so we go under the yellow over the yellow 
and under the black you have to keep up with what color you used before now it's yellow's turn under the yellow black over the black and under the yellow so we're cre creating a pattern what color should i use next i have yellow black yellow black very good so we put yellow black under the yellow over the yellow under the black and pull let's do one more so I have yellow black yellow black what color is next yellow black yellow black yellow very good so the yellow under the black over the black and under the yellow and pull now depends on the name of your friend you could use their first the first letter of their first name Do that so I, I have the letter R very good I have the letter R and this is where the water comes in handy because we need to wet our fingers a little so we could get the ends of the embroidery thread or whatever thread you're using to push through the hole in our bead see the hole just make sure it is lined up the correct way because we do not want the letters to be backwards. Oh, see, I missed a thread. Get some more water. And string it through. Let's start over with stringing it through. I have to make sure all the thread goes through. Wet my finger again. And put it through. If you would like, instead of putting the R first, you could start with something very decorative. And I could use, let's use heart. Because you love your friends so much. We have a little decorative heart. All the strings went all the way through. And then you can put your letter R. Do the same thing we did with the other bead and put it through in the hole. If you need help, ask someone for help. Sometimes it could be very tedious to do. And there you go, because my friend's name starts with the letter R. Then let's see. We have yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. It's a pattern. What color comes next? very good black so what we do first we under the yellow because we're using black over the yellow and under the black and pull so it looks like this and pull then we do the yellow by now you are a pro at this and you could always rewind the video if you miss something. And you just keep on going. Look how beautiful that is. Yellow, black, now it's yellow. Yeah, you're making a pattern. 
if you like, you could do two yellows, one black. You could make your own pattern how you want it. Two yellows, then a black. Two blacks, then a yellow. However you would like. So you will continue working with your two colors until you have reached the length you would like. And this is what it looks like thus far. Yeah. And this you will give to your friend. And I love that you are my friend and all the fun things we do together. I have a special gift for you. And your friend will love it. And you just put it on your friend's wrist. This is, and it is not as long as it should be, but just to show you how it's done. I have others that I have made. If your friend's initial is D and E, or D and S. And you could, this is another way you could decorate. Yeah. Friendship bracelet, what a wonderful idea. And then here's another one. Thank you so much for joining me for another fun activity at Miss Kay's Book Corner. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.